Welcome to our lecture online. Sometimes we gain a better understanding by doing an iterative process. What we're going to do here is find the second moment of area of each one of these squares, they're all of them the same size, a by a, but at a different location relative to the x-axis. Here it's adjacent to the x-axis, here's a distance a away from the x-axis, a distance 2a away from the x-axis, and a distance 3a away from the x-axis. In each case, we'll find the second moment of area, and then we'll compare the results to see if there's a pattern there, an interesting result. Well, let's see. First of all, we'll do this one here, and, of course, I should write y squared in each one of those, otherwise I'm not finding the second moment of area, I would be finding the first moment of area, which is not what I want. So then this becomes equal to the integral of y squared times dA, which is y squared a dy from 0 to a. I can pull out the a. This becomes a times the integral of that, which is y cubed over 3, evaluated from 0 to a, which becomes equal to 1 third a to the fourth power. On the next integral, I now integrate from a to 2a, but it's the same integral, so this is equal to, I write the integral of y squared, instead of dA, I have a times dy from a to 2a, and this becomes equal to, when I pull out the a, I get a times y cubed over 3, evaluated from a to 2a. The one third can come out, so this is equal to a over 3, times, when I plug in the upper limit, I get, well, I get 8a minus when I plug in the lower limit, I get a, and so this then becomes equal to 7 thirds a to the fourth power, and of course this is a cubed and a cubed. All right, so this is the second result. Now on to the third integral. This is equal to the integral from 2a to 3a, of y squared times dA, which is again a times dy. So this becomes equal to a times y cubed over 3, evaluated from 2a to 3a. I can pull the one third out. So this becomes equal to a over 3 times, when I plug in the upper limit, I get 3a quantity cubed, that is 27a cubed minus 8a a cubed for the lower limit, so this becomes equal to 27 minus 8, or 19 over 3, a to the fourth power. And finally, for the last integral, this is equal to the integral from 3a to 4a of y squared, a dy. Again, the a comes outside the integral sign, so this is a times y cubed over 3, evaluated from 3a to 4a, which is equal to a over 3 times, when I plug in the upper limit, I get 4a quantity cubed, which is 64a cubed minus the lower limit, I get 27a cubed, and so this is equal to 64 minus 27, that's 44, that's 37 over 3, a to the fourth power. And now let's see if there's a pattern. Notice that all of the terms have a to the fourth in them. All have divided by 3, because we have a squared integrated, it becomes a cubed over 3. But in the numerator, we have a 1, a 7, a 19, and a 37. So for the numerator, if I add 6 to 1, I get 7. So that would be plus 6 over 3 a to the fourth power to get this. And here, if I add 12 over 3, so plus 12 over 3, a to the fourth power, this plus this, I get that term. And here, if I add plus, from 19 to 37, that would be 18 over 3, a to the fourth, I get that. Now, that would be 2 a to the fourth, 4 a to the fourth, 6a to the fourth added to the previous result to get the next result. That's kind of interesting when you think about it, because in each time I raise the square by a distance of a up, and then I have to add an additional 2a to the fourth, 
4a to the fourth, 6a to the fourth every time I increase the distance by 1a. So interesting aspect of that result and you can see how you can develop patterns then later on it makes it much easier to calculate some of these moment, second moment of areas. And that's how it's done.